I just want to ask you, do you know why you're here? No, I don't. Do you have any idea why you're here? No, I don't. Okay, well, we're working on an investigation, and uh, there's a warrant for your arrest uh, charging a count of murder. Count of murder? Yes, sir. So, uh, before we get into it, I know I can see right by your expression, you've got a lot of questions to ask us. Uh, we've got a couple to ask you, too. Okay. I'm sure you've seen this on TV a thousand times. I've got to advise you, and then we'll talk about it man to man here. And okay. That okay? Mm -hmm. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. You want to sit here and talk to us uh, about that? I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, here, I forgot. If you uh, cannot afford an attorney, you want to be appointed for you free of charge for questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So, do uh, you want to sit here and talk about the uh, warrant? Yes. And what the charges are against yes. you? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. We have been uh, investigating a murder that occurred in uh, 2007. Okay? And uh, it involves a young lady. And I'm going to ask you, show you a photograph of this young lady and see if you recognize her. seen that girl before. No, I haven't. Who is that? Is that Peters? Yes. All right. No, I haven't. Okay. okay. Uh, like I said, we've been investigating this since 2007. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, you're not down here. We didn't just pick your name out of a hat. I mean, I, do you watch all these little police mm -hmm. shows and CSIs and, and all that stuff with modern technologies and all that? All right. Okay, well, you've been identified to this young lady. Okay. Okay, do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? Why would you be uh, identified? I don't know. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people, but I don't know her. Okay. All right. So do you know how the, I'm sure you've probably uh, heard about DNA. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, your DNA was identified in relation to this young lady's death. Okay. No, I'm just saying, I, you, that's what you're telling me, so that's, okay. all I can, yeah, that's all I can say. How could that happen? I don't know. You have no idea? I have no idea. You've never seen this lady before? No, I haven't. In your life? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you have anything you want to ask about her? No. Okay, in 2003, this young lady was found killed. Have you ever seen her? No, I haven't. You don't know that lady? No, I don't. You've never seen her? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Mr. Franklin, just mm -hmm. like the other one, your DNA was found on this young lady. Okay. Is there a way to explain that? No, it's not. There's no I don't way know this. I don't know this lady. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm -mm. That's uh, Valerie McCorvey. Okay. Mm -mm. Think about it. Think hard. This is very, very, very serious. I mean, you're telling me you watch these shows. I mean, it's I like we put your name out of a hat. No, I don't know her. <clears throat> okay. 2002. This young lady was found. Do you recognize her? No, I don't. Princess? I don't. You've never, seen, never seen her before? Mm -mm. No. Mr. Franklin, we're, we're, we're both old guys. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sitting here and, uh, <coughs> you know, I'm, I'm ready to answer questions of you. Right. I'm, I'm being up front with you. And, uh, and, this, and by you telling me that you don't know these people or hadn't know any way that their your DNA got on their bodies, no. you're insulting my intelligence. I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I do not know. Okay. In 1988, this young lady, Alicia Alexander.
again. My it's all, DNA it's all linked to you. Now, Mr. Franco, I mean, you watch these shows. You tell me once, you know, maybe you met the gal and you had a little relationship with her and she turns up dead. You know, oh, maybe a coincidence. I just showed you four people. Four people. I mean, your coincidences are getting pretty slim, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. I mean, well, I mean, what do you? I mean, do you have anything uh, to say? I mean, no, I don't. I don't know the people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, how would your DNA get there? What logical reason? I don't. I have no clue. No clue. I mean, I have no clue how my DNA would get there. This young lady, Lucretia Jefferson. No, no. I don't know her. Again. Coincidence? My DNA. I have no idea. Let me ask you something. Do you, uh, do you know what DNA is? Yes, the blood, right. saliva. Anything, okay. any body fluids that make contact. Okay, and it's 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 like a fingerprint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only one person has that DNA. Okay, so you you understand it probably better than I do. I and, understand, uh, but I don't know these people. So okay. Okay. yeah, you got five or six people here. Well, and I don't so know. far, so far. Yeah. From me, uh, yeah, uh, you know. Are you? Uh, you go to church? Yes, I do. Matter of fact, that's supposed to be a church tonight. Oh, okay. What church is that? I go to uh, Greater New Baptist Church. Where? Greater New Baptist Church. Where is that? In Los Angeles. What what street? San is Pedro. San, Pe no, San Pedro. On San Pedro and in San Pedro and uh, Martin Luther King. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long have you been going to that church? I've been going there for like three years, off and on. And I'm a member of the Civil Line and the Hope. Okay. Where'd you go to church before that church? <sighs> oh, I was just. I bounced into my wife's church on the corner right there. What church does she go to? Uh, Jerusalem. Okay. And do uh, uh, you remember a church uh, that uh, used to be on Normandy? By the name of the Cosmopolitan Church. Remember that? Normandy. Normandy and what? 60th. 60th? No, I don't. Normandy? No. Only go to like, that's only two churches. I, you well, know, this I, is this is going back in okay. the, probably the uh, the late 1980s. Okay. Were you a member there? No, I wasn't. Did you used to have access to drive their van? No, I didn't. Did I, you know people that went there? No, I don't. You're not that far from 60th and Normandy from uh, where you're living. Yeah, it's around the corner from the park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, that that's not familiar to you, or the Cosmopolitan Church. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Not at all. All right. Well, I'm just testing your your memory here. You, I mean, you're 67, you're well versed in uh, DNA. It's because uh, I buy food right there on uh, right there one block before you get the gauge. Just a little Mexican spot I get food at. Well, the church isn't there anymore, but uh, yeah. years ago it was there. But uh, I'm I'm just. Personally, I'm very uh, impressed of your of your knowledge of the DNA, that it's saliva and blood, and it's mm -hmm. only only connects to one person in the world. And uh, I mean, even even your uh, your kids don't have your DNA. You know, they right. might have your blood type or something, but they don't have your DNA. That's just like they don't have your thumbprint. It's only Mr. Lonnie Franklin that has the DNA makeup that's found on those young ladies right there. So how in God's name is that possible? I don't know. No, no thought. I mean, do you? Okay, all right. Ready? This young lady here, Mary Lowe, was her name. No, I don't know her. She looked like um, a girl living in um, Rialto, one of my wife's friends. Hmm. But her name is. Uh, Her name is. Damn, she was called a few weeks ago. I can't. They come to me. But I don't know her. Okay. But she has favored the same facials. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's another one.
This young lady here, her name is Bernita Sparks. Wow, she looked heavy set. <laughs> Why? No, I just said she looked fat. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. You ever own any weapons? Yes. What kind of weapons? I have a 22 long rifle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, 38 revolver. Okay, what else? Uh, I got a, well, I had a 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other handgun? Mm, 22 pistol, 22 revolver. 22 revolver? Mm -hmm. that, that's different than the long rifle you mentioned? Yes, it is. Did you purchase those in gun shops or did you get them on the street? I purchased a couple of them at gun shops, gun shows. At gun shows? Mm -hmm. And gun shops? Okay. Well, well, Western, well, Sur Western Surplus was down the street. I bought a, oh. uh, I bought one, it should be on record. I bought one there. The that's 22 a, long rifle? Yeah. Okay, and then you said the nine millimeter. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that? The nine millimeter. I sold it, but I got it out of Texas. Out okay, Texas. so you no longer have that gun. No, I don't. And you mentioned the thirty-eight. Thirty-eight revolver. Okay, where'd you purchase that one? At? I think I got it from my dad. From your dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, and is that yeah, still was, at the house? It was stolen. No, it, it was, was stolen. stolen. It was stolen. I was. It was broken into. House was broken into some years ago. Oh, okay. And it got, it got stolen. Do you remember when that was stolen? <sighs> See, we stole the car in 88, but they broke into the house in 91. 91. Mm. And that's a 38 revolver? Mm, I lost two guns. I lost two guns. Okay, okay. what was the other gun? <clears throat> a 22 pistol. The 22 pistol. That's different it's, from the long one. Right. That you're talking about the revolver. Right. It was a little, little. You can put it right here in your pocket. Okay. The 22 well, revolver. And the 22 long rifle. That's what a semi. I mean, could you? It's keep a Ruger. It? it was a Ruger. So it's like a semi-auto. Yeah. I guess so. You okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I'm, that's why I'm just trying to make the distinction. There. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's all the handguns you. That's it. You don't know any more handguns? No more. What about that twenty-five caliber there in your closet? Twenty-five caliber? What, is it a rifle? No. Twenty-five caliber. It's a twenty-five caliber. A pistol? Mm-hmm. Yeah, over the... Sh that's not mine. It's not? No, that's... My brother-in-law's, um, Delroy Lino, he has two, I have two things of his. He got evicted. Uh, we just picked up his stuff last, last week. What was the other thing you got? What? But what was the other thing that you got? You said you picked up two things? Oh, the shotgun. Where is that at in the house? That was in, the, in my closet. closet. In the mm -hmm. same closet? Mm-hmm. You don't own any other handguns? No. This young lady here. Her name is Barbara Ware. <clears throat> Never saw her before. Mm -mm. Know nothing about her. Nothing about her. Sorry, I don't. Again, you know, it's like I told you earlier. I, I mean, I'm really feeling insulted here because all of these people, it's like I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, come on, we're grown men here. I'm not playing games with you. I'm laying my cards right here on the table, just like this. I'm laying my cards right here. I'm telling you. Maybe one, I'd say, okay. Two, I wouldn't be going to Vegas if I were you, because your luck isn't that good. <laughs> but look at all of these. Your luck is running out fast. 
And unless you come up with some kind of ex explanation, I mean, I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm telling yeah, you straight up, straight up. This young lady, her name is Henrietta Wright. Go ahead, take a close look. No recollection or you just don't I don't know her. I don't know her. But ugly, I don't know her. So what? <laughs> but ugly, I don't know her. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I don't know her. This young lady, Deborah Jackson. So if I told you, you were connected to the deaths of all of these ladies, who do you think Detective Kilcoin and I would be sitting here looking at? Huh? Mm -hmm. You don't know who we'd be looking at? Oh, okay, you're looking at me. <laughs> you're looking at me. Yeah. I, mean, do you, I mean, do you agree? Yeah, I, mean, I agree with you. I agree with you on that, yes. I mean, uh, I mean all of these people that you say you don't know through scientific evidence are all pointing the finger at Lonnie David Franklin Jr. Sit there and look at their faces all staring at you pointing that finger at you. Don't insult my intelligence. Please don't insult. I'm gray haired. I'm going bald. I'm getting close to the end here. I've done this a lot, okay, just like you. You've been around. I respect your experience. You're probably the best mechanic uh, there is out there. You're good at what you do. And we've been doing this for a long time, too. 